Emergent research shows that autistic people can have different reactions to commonly used medications. The presentation of pain in autistic people is not well understood and various factors like this, as well as communication differences, especially as a semi-speaking person, mean that I face significant barriers to accessing healthcare. I also don't like to admit when I'm ill. This experience of disablement is common to autistic people and is a contributing factor to our reduced life expectancy when compared to non-autistic people. I've spoken in the past about how such barriers threatened the life of my unborn baby and threatened my life post childbirth. And recently I experienced them again in new and equally terrifying ways when I was put through testing for bowel cancer. I've got a lot of trauma associated with those experiences and they're hard to talk about, but you can you can imagine it all involved a lot of humiliating situations and frightening bits of machinery and journeys into the underground parts of the hospital and, and all of that. And communication and understanding is so important in those moments. If you imagine going through that journey yourself and then at the critical point as they wheel you into a theatre and ask you certain things, everyone switched to speaking a language you didn't understand. How frightening and bewildering that would be. How helpless and powerless you would feel. And then as the people around you registered your distress, Imagine that they try to comfort you by doing something you find aggressive, eye contact, or offered you solutions that somebody else finds comforting but you find scary, and you can't speak the language to say. They weren't able to complete the tests that they needed to do on me because these barriers to access are not understood, and my health remains an ongoing issue on the table in a way that it would not if I had shared a neurotype with the people trying to help me.